Good time crew. Welcome back, guys. Good time crew. Oh, uh, well, well, well. Another day, more Family Guy on the marathon. Family Guy marathon continues. Hey, it so basically continues all the way to the new year. All the way to the new year, which is in two hours. And, oh, wait. No. A day. We have like two days. Two days. I give up. Uh, Today, tomorrow, and then Saturday is the new year. Oh, okay, okay. So anyway, guys, New Year's coming up. Let us know your New Year's resolution. But let's yes. talk about this Family Guy first. Season 13, part one. Good time crew, you know how it goes. Yes, cutaways, I'm not trying not to laugh, forget that. Peter, you have to apologize. What, because of a joke? Not just a joke, Peter, a joke that angered some bloggers. <sighs> some I guess bloggers. this ain't the first time I got in trouble for something I said about a woman. Oh, good, we can steal. <laughs> My husband and I would like to open a cookie store. We've done all the research and I'm very confident we can turn a profit. I brought some samples if you'd like to try one. She said one. Take uh. one. Hey, you're trying to get money out of this man. Oh, well, these are delicious. Let me just run this by my supervisor. One. Yes! <laughs> this has to be the stupidest thing you've ever done! No, Brian, the stupidest thing I ever did was turn the bubbles off in a hot tub. Yeah, party! That's true. Ew, bath with friends. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Welcome to Tommy Bahama. Yeah, you got anything for a poor fat person who wants to look like a rich fat person? Of course. Now, I'll mostly be hitting on waitresses who are too young and thin to ever be interested in me. Hitting on them in a kindly, genial way? No, in a threatening, creepy, I'm joking, but I'm not really joking way. Y you have anything for that? Sir, what you're describing is precisely Mr. Bahama's vision. Tommy Bahama. <laughs> Five million uncles can't be wrong. Come on, guys, we don't have to make such a big thing about it. Marks, it's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30. Jesus. You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday, as long as it lasts the whole week and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm gonna dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But, Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. People are Now, the like man that. at the podium is Thomas Jefferson, and this is a very important moment. He's trying to convince Congress to approve the Louisiana Purchase. Come on, guys. We're getting Oklahoma, Arkansas, Nebraska, Kansas, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Louisiana. What are the chances all those states suck? <laughs> you know, it would be nice if you guys believed in me just once. You're being terrible parents, even worse than John Edwards. Kids, we need to talk. Your mama has cancer, and it's made me incredibly horny. Take care. Oh. Mom, I need to check for oh. the school field trip. Jeez, Meg, didn't I just take you on a field trip? Okay, here's the field. Goodbye forever. <laughs> ah! Meg, I'm injured! Please help me! I smell gas! Hey, shoot. Meg, I'm still alive, but I'm badly burned! Come save my life and nurse me back to health! Oh, God, why do bad things happen to good people? We now return to Hard Knocks CFL, training camp with the Toronto Argonauts. I hope you make it. You're real good. No way, not as good as you. I hope you make it. What are you going to yeah, do with all your money? Oh, win. probably just save it. Yeah, that's real smart. Well, back to my book. <laughs> Thanks for spotting my potential, Peter. Hey, no problem, buddy. I'm pretty perceptive. That's how I can always tell which guys in the Wrangler jeans commercials beat their wives. All of them. All of them. Peter, you gotta take him now. <laughs> oh, Lo Lois, it's probably just something I ate. I'm, I'm fine, really. I, I, I got more energy than a cruise ship conga line. Horny on a big boat. Horny on a big boat. I'm very sick from lobster. God, I should have known it. I feel more betrayed than when I thought that <clears throat> lawyer was gonna propose. So you did commit the murder? Uh-huh. And you admit it here in front of everyone? Uh-huh. No further questions, Your Honor. Wait, no further questions? Motion to have the last eight years stricken from the record? That's not true. If it was, I would have figured it out. Just like I figured out who was stealing my lunch at work. Oh my goodness. Next time there's a sandwich in the fridge with somebody's name on it, don't eat it, scumbag. Please, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. That lunch didn't have your name on it, but this bullet does. <laughs> My name is Peter too. He's all about helping people get well. 
Just like Doc Martens. So, how are you feeling today? Terrible. I've got blurry vision, I feel cold and clammy, and the nurse told me there's blood in my stool. Have you tried wearing a lesbian shoe? What? Put this man down Doc for Martin. a pair of lesbian shoes. Huh. High fever, weight loss, and extreme respiratory difficulty. Let's have this man intubated and fit with a pair of lesbian shoes. <laughs> Live from New York City, it's the J.C. Penney Thanksgiving Day Parade. The J.C. Penney Parade? Yeah, it's like the Macy's Parade, only without licensed characters. With the popular balloons we all know and love. Like... Mickey Rabbit, Sponge Cow, <laughs> and Clifton, the small blue dog. <laughs> I don't know. Clint. Joe, this happens all the time. You wouldn't believe Sponge who really writes cow. all those Stephen King books. Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, ding! Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, ding! Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, lunch! Okay. Meg, trust me, you ace these SATs, you could go on to do anything. You could be a doctor, an architect. Hell, you could even coach the Mighty Ducks. Oh, right. The championship is on the line. It's time for a formation they're not expecting. The Flying V? No. The Stinky V. Sam Bowie's driving quick. Damn the guy. That's why. Peter and I used to be so close, but now we're like apples and oranges. People say we're different, but we're really not that different. Mm -hmm, yeah, we both work in marketing. We both lost children. We both own cars, but we like to take the bus. And we both cheat at words with friends. Oh, nice try. I certainly do not. And we're both gonna have a moderate time at the party tonight. And we're not gonna count each other's drinks. We won't have to, because we won't be drinking. Yeah, let me see what, what else is on. Go with that one. In honor of Sammy, on the bus ride over here, we all sat in the back. <laughs> Lucille Ball was back there with us, and I saw her smoking a Cuban. And then Desi zipped up his fly. Oh, 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 oh. Be as irresistible to her as wood is to a woodchuck. Mom, Dad, I've done a lot of thinking, and I've decided I don't want to go into the family business. I want to be a doctor. Hmm, let's try that on for size. How much disease could a woodchuck doctor cure if a woodchuck doctor could cure disease? Is that sounding right to you? No. <laughs> hey, Jimmy? Yeah, Dad? Next time, if you have an idea, run it through the test before you embarrass yourself. <laughs> We've got to find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Oh, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. Wow. I'm sorry Joe's dream didn't work out for you, Peter. <sighs> what was I thinking? Joe's the one with all the talent. Me trying to write a book is like CeeLo trying to find a pair of pants. Yeah, I'd need to find something a cartoon <laughs> Apple would wear. Oh my god, we've got to get him to a hospital! Don't worry, Brian, I'll save you. I'm good in a crisis. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> technically, that's. I don't. I don't want to talk about that. That's I, not gonna. That's not. That, no, I'm. No, it's no, no. I don't even want to get into that. Uh, anywho. Yeah, I'm sorry, but CeeLo. CeeLo Green. Wait, where did CeeLo? Please go? come to the front. You used to be passing already. Oh back. my gosh. Okay, forget it. I don't care. CeeLo, <laughs> he was all stuffed down in the white suit. <laughs> <laughs> he was stuffed down in the white suit. That was really funny. That was messed up. I wasn't expecting that. But you know what the funny thing about Family Guy is? It's hilarious because they bring people up that you really weren't even thinking about. And they make jokes about them. And I'm like, you know what? They're right. But you, no one was thinking about CeeLo Green. You yeah, know you know what? You and forgot about I know him. this was old, but I'm just saying. Yeah, they you forgot about him for five seconds. His yeah. music wasn't around. Right, like that one we watched where they were talking about Reese's Book Club. I was like, hey, you leave her out of this. No one was talking about her. Yo, the same way I feel about the lunch thing, that is real life. You eat my lunch, it's not, your name's not on it. Did you bring that food to work? 
You were Why are you <laughs> eating somebody else's food? That is like, the craziest thing. Stop eating other people's food. It's Don't not your even food. touch people's food. Because you remember I went on that rampage at my own job when I had to start writing. I was like, this is not yours. Do not touch it. Do you don't remember that? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my about. gosh. But. Okay, I can't say it all, but yeah, guys. But that's a real don't thing, be guys. That guy. When you go back to work for the new year, do not eat other people's food. But if why you didn't is bring it in, like... nah, I used to do that at my old job, though, because look, well, this is what I would do. <laughs> now I'm not here. I'm going to give you the only exception. I would watch the food and see how long it stayed in there. Like, it was like some drink, like some sodas. And I'm okay, like, nobody. I'm like, okay, it's like three, it's like three Mountain Dews no. in there. And I'm like, I'm gonna just watch these. <laughs> like, da, 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 another day, another day, another week goes by, they're still in there. I'm like, and they're in there. Next Monday, I'm drinking one, <laughs> and they all three are still there. So I pop one open. See, I feel like the, that's like part of the only exception, cause like when we used to have like events and stuff, mm. and then we would have leftover food in the refrigerator. Yeah. That doesn't really have anybody's name on it, but it's like you do want to watch to make sure like nobody had claimed it already. Yeah. And then it's like okay, but food that has somebody's name, or if it's in a lunchbox, I have a Wonder Woman lunchbox. That's not okay. yours! <laughs> I'm about to say, okay, I, continue. I'm just saying, if it's in a lunchbox, then obviously it's not yours. It's not like you're confused. People so, just don't care. If it doesn't have your name on it, don't eat it, crew. <sighs> okay. Sorry, somebody, that was funny. You fool somebody else's name on it. That's how serious it we'll is, guys. We'll see the end of you. I'm sorry. We're going to see the end of this video, okay? <laughs> guys, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and...